Light up the earth, you light up my life The only one I ever see with a smile so bright hey. And just yesterday, you came around my way You changed my horse in way With your astonishing beauty Hello Guyana, we are on the outside talking with people that are important to you. Of course, they are Guyanese all the way. Just the other day, Guyana had a beauty queen after a long time winning an international pageant. And of course, you would have known her because she would have been part of pageants and dancing and so on in Guyana. We caught up with her. Her name is Soyini Fraser. She's the current Miss United Nations. Soyini, step right up. Step right up, baby. Step right up. Yes, Soyini Fraser. There you go. Take her from top to bottom. Yes, Soyini Fraser, a Miss Guyana. And she has done Guyana proud. Soyini, how are you doing, girlfriend? I good. I just glad to be back home. Mm -hmm. What was it like? What was the experience like? You went to the pageant and you <laughs> saw people. Were you were you like intimidated? What was the experience? Well, the first the first person I saw was Miss Canada. Even though she was short, she was fierce. Mm -hmm. Like this girl came ready wardrobe attitude everything she had her game face on so I knew right from the airport that I had to bring it if I really wanted to keep this crown for Guyana and then you got it and then I got what it. What was it like in terms of in the competition? Oh, the competition was intense I remember the morning they woke us up early for the interview segment and when you arrived they gave you a six-page questionnaire mm -hmm. that we did not plan for <laughs> so I just found a quiet corner and and answered it the best I could, and the judges seemed to like it. Okay. It what went. Are some of the things that you had to answer. Uh, they asked, "What are your life ambitions? What do you intend to do against to speak out against domestic violence? Because that is one of the babies of the pageant, and also tourism. They're really big on tourism. How would you sell your country if you take the crown back? What would you do, not only in your country but overseas, to make sure the persons know you're from a rich cultural area?" Mm -hmm. And domestic violence is an issue that's happening in Guyana on a regular. Oh, there, yes. are, there are consultations going on with the ministry and so many other things. What's your take on domestic violence though, seriously? Well, I don't believe violence in any form is acceptable, whether it comes from a parent, an adult or a child. We all have our differences, but we should learn to resolve them amicably. And we should never resolve to hitting each other. you are brighter than the moon, brighter than the star, I love you just the way you are. And you are my African queen, the girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. Yet. You make my heart go ting a ling a ling. Oh, I... Now the pageant is over. When you, what was it like hearing? And the winner is Soyini <laughs> Fraser, Miss Guyana. Well, to tell you the honest truth, they were giving out all the special awards: Miss Supermodel, Miss Best National Costume. They were right down to the end. I'm like, wait, me win nothing for truth? Uh -huh. They called Miss Dominican Republic second runner-up, Miss Trinidad and Tobago first runner-up. So I'm at the back like, really? And then they said the winner is Miss Guyana. And I'm still waiting to hear my name. And then Miss Trinidad was like, yo, use Guyana, buddy. <laughs> she like literally said that. And I'm like, oh, shucks. And then it kind of hit me that I am Guyana. We actually won. Uh -huh. And uh, Mr. Holland was there. Bisham Mohammed from TVG came also. And they were just screaming and running around. They were more happy than I was. Because uh -huh. it took like a little while for it to sink in that I actually won. Won that pageant. Mm -hmm. And um, having won an international pageant, how, how did that make you feel? Well, I'm still soaking it up actually because it's all new to me. I've done pageants in Guyana but never at this level. Persons are calling from overseas, from as far as Asia, Europe to do things for the United Nations that I didn't even know existed. So I'm just trying to keep up with the information and stay on top of my game and make Guyana proud. So what is it that you propose to do as the Queen or is, what is it that you are, uh, is your mandate as the Queen for a year? Well, the pageant of itself is speaking out against domestic violence. We are promoting tourism for Guyana and for the pageant also. And we are very, very uh, passionate about children, their education, their health, the rights of a child. Mm. So I'm going to be taking up the mantle from the last queen and I'm going to run with it. Okay, so um, like you have to be traveling to other countries and so Oh, on. yes. What I'm are the prizes you got? 
Well, I won 10,000 US, uh, a trip to Jamaica, a trip to China, and um, a modeling contract with the US agency. Mm -hmm. So I'll be doing lots of work overseas. Okay, so therefore, you'd want to say to mothers who are thinking that um, it doesn't make sense to put my daughter in a pageant. What would you want to say to them? Well, that is uh, a naive point of view. Pageants are about discovering your inner self. Two years ago, if somebody had told me I was a pageant girl, I would have never believed it. I remember when I was over in New York, my friend's mother called and she's like, Sayini, you doing pageants for truth? I'm like, yeah, because when I was in school, I was a tomboy. I never did anything remotely girly. But it helped me to discover a different side of myself. I've become more confident. I've realized that I have strength that I didn't believe was possible. I can face adversities and I can also help other persons to realize things about themselves and make it easier for them to come out of the box and show what they're capable of doing also. Okay, you've heard from Sini Fraser, the reigning Miss United Nations 2012. Stay tuned, we've got more when we come back. African queen. The girl of my dreams And you remind me of a thing And that is the African beauty yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, You are my African queen Oh lie, oh lie mm. Out of a million You stand as one, they are standing one mm. I look into your eyes Girl, what I see is paradise Hey, you captivated my soul Now every day I want you more when we took a break just now, Soyini was sharing a lot on uh, why it is that parents should allow their daughters to be part of pageants. Now let's test, as they say, the young lady to see exactly what is her honest take on some of the things that Guyana is dealing with at this time. Miss United Nations, mind you, I feel very, very proud that I'm standing <laughs> next to her. She's my friend before the pageant and even after. Firm uh, uh, head on her shoulders, a uh, graduate of which school? I was graduated from Queen's College and I'm currently a final year student of the Life Christian University. None of um, uh, folks on what? Oh, I'm studying uh, theology, majoring and minoring in counseling because I want to be a Christian child psychologist when I graduate. Okay, that's coming up sometime soon. Now let's go to some things that Guyana dealing with. Is you a beauty queen representing for Guyana? First thing is, children. Um, there is talk of possibly removing corporal punishment in its entirety from schools. What is your take? I agree with that. Um, from time and time again, we notice in the newspaper and even word of mouth in Guyana that persons take it a little overboard. Just because you might not necessarily agree with a child's actions or understand how they behave mm -hmm. gives you the right to lash out against them in violence. Like I said before, I don't agree with violence in any form. But weren't you given some lashes as a child in school and so? Yes, I was. Did it do anything bad to you? Um, I remember one time my teacher kind of burst my hands mm -hmm. and my mom was really upset yes. uh, because what she had beaten me for was kind of stupid. What was that? I had written the word wrong and I thought I was right. Well, I always thought I was right when I was younger. And she gave me lashes for that. And shortly after, they had abandoned the, the notion of class teachers distributing corporal punishment and only headmistresses. And that was a plus. Mm -hmm. So you think that they could keep that part of it? Where they had teacher? Or, or, um, or how do you think that we're going to be able to deal with children? Because of the reality that there are youngsters that seem to understand now that they're not, they can't get legs in school and so they do whatever they want. Well, firstly, persons like that have a, a distorted vision of what respect is. From the smallest child to the oldest person, everybody deserves respect. So once you allow somebody to see that you respect them, you're listening to them, it gives them the ability to open up to you, to show you that, hey, I'm not as bad as I seem. I can't do what I'm supposed to do. I can't toe the line. So I believe if everybody takes a step back and analyze how children think, how they absorb things because the environment really plays an impact on a child. But how do you get a child in line in, as a school teacher then? If you're saying no licks in school as in I, uh, corporate punishment you mean no no disciplining of the child? Well or when I used to go to school we used to have to clean the the yard or do some kind of laborers work and nobody wanted to do that so you told the line. Hmm. There are alternative ways to corporal punishment. You don't always have to resort to it. So I believe that once the ministries and the head teachers sit down, they'll find a way to resolve it. Consulting with the parents, of course. Consulting with the parents, of course. I cannot deny this feeling I'm 
feeling inside Hey, no one I cannot take your place I cannot take your space That is a fact I cannot erase And no, you are the one that makes me smile Make me float like a boat upon the Nile Girl, you are my African queen Girl, Let's deal with another subject. On the, there is talk of getting rid of uh, the death penalty. What are your thoughts on that? Should they keep it or not and why? Well, I wouldn't be able to answer that because I have never given anyone life and I don't believe I should take it. And if you feel like I feel, the answer is simple. No. Mm, they shouldn't get rid of death penalty? They should get rid of it. Okay, what should they do instead? Well, that I would not be able to say. No, I'm no, not no, in law no, enforcement, no. Recommendation. <laughs> so if a man kills your mom, your dad, and so on, and he's, on de he's placed on death, so you're saying they should get rid of the death penalty? Well, I believe in karma. Whatever a person gives, they get just that. Maybe not you, maybe your son, maybe your daughter. Because a lot of us reap blessings and curses from our foreparents. So you have to know what kinds of seeds you're sowing and what you want your harvest to be like. Okay. Now, there's another subject that we're going to be dealing with when we come back in a minute. Stay tuned. The girl of my dreams And you remind me of a thing yeah. And that is the African beauty yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back, we're talking with Lady Who has won the title of Miss United Nations 2012, a Guyanese graduate of Queen's College. She's also a dancer with the Classic Dance Company, and she also does a whole host of things in relation to the arts. So, Yini Fraser, again, congratulations, can't help but saying it. <laughs> now, there are, some, there are several subjects that we're dealing with in Guyana at present. One has been sent to a select committee yesterday in Parliament. That is, of course, to do with um, the human rights part of the legislation that deals with a person should not be discriminated against based on their sexuality. Um, um, legislation they're working on to, uh, legislation to see whether it should be part of our legislation or not what is your take well that's a really controversial question um, I believe in love mm. and I believe that once you accept a person for who they are each one of us has flaws each one you have something that I probably might think is disgusting or I don't want to be a part of but then I might also have a whole list of things that you might feel the same way about mm -hmm. if we learn to respect each other mm -hmm. then there would be no no dispute about that each person is uniquely different and that's okay okay that's okay but I'm asking you specifically about the sexuality issue because the church is totally opposed you to it hear me answer right this, no more yeah, yeah answer, <laughs> but there's a there's a there's a political answer or a diplomatic answer I want you to get the nitty-gritty why or why, why or why not should they or shouldn't they um, draft legislation that includes the part that says that a um, uh, person really sexuality should not be part should question. should not be part or be part of law? Um, I I would rather not answer it to point mm -hmm. and just leave it the way I said it just now. Okay. Now, is there anything you want to say to little girls that are looking at you and saying, "Miss United Nations, <laughs> a Guyanese"? What do you want to say to those girls? Is that possible? Go ahead. It's possible. When you dream, dream big. The sky is never the limit. Once you keep your head on, go to school, get a proper education, and listen to your parents. We, we all say our parents are old, they don't know what we're going through, but they do. They've all lived this road. They've all walked the roads that we've walk, we're walking on now. So listen to them. Also, have a, a vision of where you want to go. Mm -hmm. I have a five-year plan, and everybody should get one. Jot down what you want to do in the near future and in the distant future, and stick to it. If you ever think you want to leave the course, draft another plan and keep drafting plans until you come up with what you want to do with your life and stick to it. Okay. Now, is there any message that you'd want to give to um, generally in relation to pageantry? And since you've been involved in Ghana pageant and international pageant, what do you think is lacking in terms of our girls being able to make it at the international level? Say for you, because you made it. Well, the thing I think is very integral is exposure. Mm. What I've learned from a lot of the girls that I've met, they've been to at least four or five international pageants. No matter how small it is, if it's just a festival in another country or uh, an international pageant in their own, they've all done several several different things so the exposure is crucial for Guyana and the corporate society needs to jump on it because I'll, the the major problem for pageant girls, including myself, is sponsorship. When we 
are invited to do a pageant, we can't always afford to because most of us are students and we work for like government salaries, which doesn't really pay a lot. So Guyanese need to rally around them and show them support. We can do it. I am living proof that we can make it on the international scene. We just need a little more dedication. You are my African queen and I know, oh yes I know. Mm. You are my African queen and I know, see I know. Hi Guyana, I am Soyoni Fraser, the newly crowned Miss United Nations 2012. Dreams are all possible. I'm living proof. Years ago, as a girl, I never thought I could have been here, but strategic planning and good guidance from my parents and mentors brought me here. Though I did not win in several pageants in Guyana and I had controversial issues with another, I still stuck to my path and made my dream happen. Yeah, yeah, you are my African queen. Just like the sun, light up the earth, you light up my life The only one I ever see with a smile so bright hey. And just yesterday, you came around my way You changed my horse in way, with your astonishing beauty Oh, you could have make a Hi Diana, I'm Soyni Fraser, the newly crowned Miss United Nations 2012. And you're watching BTV, Awe TV. Be just the way you are, and you are my African queen. The girl of my dreams, you take me where I've never been yet. You make my heart go ting a ling a ling. Oh, you are my African queen. The girl of my dreams And you remind me of a thing And that is the African beauty yeah. Hey, yeah. Ooh, You are my African queen Oh, Lord, oh, Lord mm. Out of a million You stand as one, they are standing one mm. I look into your eyes Girl, what I see is paradise Hey, you captivated my soul Now every day I want you more I cannot deny this feeling I'm feeling inside Hey, no one I cannot take your place I cannot take your space That is a fact I cannot erase And no, you are the one that makes me smile Make me float like a boat upon the Nile Girl, you are my African queen The girl of my dreams